What is going on, Mentam family? I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. As for me, I am officially uh, trying to finish up decorating my girl Ariel's enclosure. I just got in some new uh, decorations in here, like a new tree branch, and also uh, this massive, massive plant that I just ordered, by the way, from Pangea Reptile, you guys. I'll leave their link in the description to their website, so go check them out at PangeaReptile.com because literally their products are absolutely really cool, and uh, I do think so far the setup's looking good, but it still needs a few finishing touches, so... It is a good start to the day here. Well, it is late afternoon because I did work a long day at work at the hospital. But regardless though, I'm just super excited to actually start getting to work on this enclosure. So let me know in the comments below and tell me how do you guys think it's going to turn out. Because I'm just really anxious to figure it out too. But I'm trying to still figure out some good ideas of what I can do to improve her enclosure setup. But if you guys have any ideas in the comments down below, uh, feel free to uh, add that down below. Because I probably might even check them out and maybe I'll even use your idea instead. Alright everyone, a little quick update. I decided to actually do a little bit of changes for Ariel's enclosure here. Obviously, I decided to go ahead and actually redecorate it here. It's obviously different from the last time you guys seen it. Uh, I do apologize for that, but regardless though, I do think it looks a lot better than it did before. So this is actually a really much better setup, obviously, because since this cage is so tall, it's like literally like three feet tall, I obviously wanted to add some of these branches to climb up a little higher so she can actually get up there to get some sun, some like UVB lighting in there, some get some basking time up there so she can warm up. I'm actually thinking about um, installing a better light bulb to be honest with you because this one in particular is producing like 60 watts where I think I'm going to have to go up to 100 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and probably head to my local pet shop again sometime and uh, probably get some more uh, better light bulbs for her. So regardless, uh, hopefully uh, she doesn't have to eat, which is a good thing. She doesn't have to eat for a couple more weeks. So hopefully by then uh, she'll probably be ready to eat. But right now, I think it's best for now to just keep this temporary for the time being but like i said we'll get some better light bulbs that can produce more heat for her so and let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think about her setup here because my mom said she really loves it i really do like it you guys it is absolutely amazing and i did actually put some effort into decorating this cage myself so with that being said feel free to judge down below in the comments everybody um i'll probably all right everyone so it's like i said it's been probably close to a week now since i actually got my new corn snake in and i think it's time we'll go ahead and offer him his first meal and see if he's interested in taking it because right now it's obviously a good idea to let your animal uh, settle in into its new home several days before you ever try to give it a meal or so. So let's go ahead and see if he has any interest in it. Um, I was told by the breeder that he does take both live and frozen thawed pinkies so we'll go ahead and see if he has any interest in it and um, we'll go ahead and uh, just find out. You in there buddy? Can you in there? Are you hiding in there? Come on out. Are you in there? I know you're in there. Come on out. There's something tasty hanging outside your home. He twitched his nose there. Hey, he does seem interested. Come on, bud. Don't you want it? A little bit finicky, but that's okay. Uh, all right, bud, come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Ah, shoot. 
Not interested in taking it, you guys. Bummer. He looked like it at first, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try again here in a little bit. Cause maybe it's because the camera is on right now. It's kind of facing him, so he's a little probably freaked out. But I'm not giving up so easy, you guys. So let's go ahead and actually give it another whirl later on. But I think we actually try it with the camera off. So, but uh, wish me luck on this one, the first attempt, everybody. Okay, everyone. It hasn't even been five minutes, so, and I actually decided to take his little bin out of the rack system. And guess what? I'll show you guys a little bit. This is so cool. He actually took the pinky. He actually took it. That is awesome! My new corn sink finally takes his first meal, everybody. That is so awesome! And he's definitely interested right off the bat. He's starting to swallow it down whole head first, everybody. So this is a good sign that he's definitely hungry here. And uh, not showing any health issues whatsoever. So this is awesome! And I'm super, super stoked about this, everybody. This is just awesome. So let me know in the comments below and tell me how you guys feel about this. Because I'm super, super stoked that he has finally taken his first meal here in his new home. You guys know that I'm from Michigan, and when the weather is starting to change here at this time of the year, we always think that when we've seen the snow melt in our yard, we always think we might get an early spring. But sometimes the weather can kind of pull a funny prank on you. But sometimes when it comes to people like us up here, we don't find it funny. And what I mean by that is this. This is what I mean. Yeah, we had a snowstorm come in today. And it's already dropped probably a good three to four inches of snow. And yeah. And here we thought we were going to get an early spring. But guess what? Mother Nature pranks us once again. So I'm really, really frustrated with that. But since I live up here in the, in the north side of the Michigan, there's really nothing I can do about it. So I still probably got to wait close to another month until the real spring arrives. So <sighs> I'm sorry, fellas. I was hoping for spring too, but guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, okay, Lucy? Ellie? Sprinkle cheese? I hate to disappoint them, you guys, I really do, but Mother Nature, sometimes she likes to take her jokes a little too far. Aw, oh, man. And here we thought spring was on its way, everyone. But well, I guess nature decided to pull early April Fool jo joke on us. But I don't find it funny, though. Not funny one little bit. Not funny. Now some of you may or may not remember, but a few weeks ago, I did mention that I actually have a new YouTube channel that actually just launched on the internet. And if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to it, I'll leave the link to the channel down below. I actually got the first video uploaded on YouTube and it's going to be launching this Friday, March 31st, everyone, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to actually check that video out later this week, feel free to do so. I'll actually post a link to it on my Instagram account too because I do have that in the description too. So I figure I'd let you guys know about that and um, it's going to be kind of like something like the next step in my life actually as a content creator. I know I'm not that big out there to the world, but... I actually want to show what my hobbies are, you know, I want to expand it a little bit more. So and fishing is kind of what I've gotten into for the last couple years and I really never thought about it until this past winter about starting a fishing channel. I didn't know if I wanted to go for it or not and I made the last minute decision to go ahead and green light it. So with that being said, if you guys want to check out that video, it will be live on 11 a.m. Eastern Time on March 31st, you guys, this Friday. So feel free to set a reminders on your cell phones or on your tablets. Hey boo. What are you doing in my room, huh? What are you doing here, pretty kitty? Usually Boone doesn't come into my room that much, but lately for the last couple weeks she's been actually doing that. I don't know why. Oh, now you're leaving? That's how it is, huh? Oh, Boo. She's so mean. But... Sometime, last night she was sleeping with me and normally she doesn't do that. Usually it's Bagheera, the other cat that sleeps with me a lot, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it has something to do with the weather or if it's just a mere coincidence. So, But I thought it was still sweet of her to do that regardless. So I need to tell you guys something real quick. Um, so just a few hours ago, um, my mom unexpectedly went to the doctors um, earlier today 
and she's been there for a while now at least three or four hours right now currently and originally later this evening we were planning on going out to dinner to an Italian restaurant but now that she's in the doctor's office been in there now for about two to three hours at most at least at this time we unfortunately had to cancel that so I'm not exactly sure what's going on but I really don't but um, obviously if she's been there for a while it's probably a bit concerning for her health you guys because after all she is now 50 and she's not getting any younger which is unfortunate um, I just hopefully it's nothing too serious so um, um, I'll try and see if I can keep you guys posted and um, let you guys know what's going on so all I can do is just hope for the best and uh, make sure nothing too serious is going on so regardless just thought I'd actually let you guys know on that so at the meantime uh, me and my my brother and sister we're just hanging here at the house watching a couple family movies and uh, probably just having a couple snacks but at, regardless though I still got to go ahead and get some a couple, little bit of reptile work done here because uh, I want to go ahead and actually get some water bowls cleaned out and maybe offer a little meal or something so with that being said um, I'll hopefully I report back some good news for you guys soon Oh, uh, and by the way, everybody, I'm going to be using this this Canon camera right here. I'm going to be using that, actually, to make some time lapses to be a part of the intro for my uh, other channel, Jim Goes Fishing. Like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys to go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to do that for me, please. And also, first video premieres again this Friday, March 31st at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So it looks like my girl Ariel kind of is starting to get comfortable with her new terrarium, everyone. Obviously, she's been climbing up the glass, though, for some reason, like as if she wants to get out. But obviously, this is going to be her new home for temporary. And uh, she's giving me that stink eye, thinking like, well, how long am I going to be in here for? But like I said, I'm really hoping that this will be her permanent enclosure, you guys, because really, if you look at her, she fits in here perfectly fine, you guys. Um, hopefully, she can find her basking spot right up there soon. But I'm thinking down the road here, following weeks, I'm thinking about obviously getting some more supplies for her enclosure to help improve it, obviously, so she can feel secure. Um, I mean, it seems like she does, but I think I'm going to have to improve the light bulb usage to give off more heat for her. So with that being said, too, uh, I also got to let you guys know, too, my new corn snake did finally take his first meal, too, which I'm so happy about. I was a little bit nervous. I think he was a little bit finicky about it at first, but when I took him out, he finally decided to take it. So with that being said, everyone, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here for the day. But before I go, you guys, can you guys do me a couple of favors? Can you guys smash that like button and also feel free to subscribe as well and turn on that notification bell so you guys can stay for notified every video that I post every Monday and Wednesday. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time.